last batch and trucks. Today we have the Cherry Alado Tigo. We have the 1.6 version here to play around with. The Tigo actually is a CBO unit imported straight from China using the Arteco engine, which is the pride of China. Now let's take a look at the exterior. You can see the huge light up front, uh, decorating the front. And this is actually a fully adjustable headlamp, which means to say you can adjust the height of the lamp, which is high up or down low. We also have the fog lamp available in all variants for the 1.6 model. It's actually not bad. Now let's take a look at the wheels. The Tigo in all variants you can see the niche wheels with 235 tires. It's actually quite wide, it's actually quite nice. It's more sailing across the road. The Tigo comes with impact protection side door beam. All four doors have these beams. Really really safe if anything hits you from the side. Let's go back to the set. From the back, you can see the huge spare tire right here, dominating the back. And uh, of course, it comes with a lock, with a padlock, but I'm not sure whether you're going to use it or not. Um, we have tire stop right inside here, with a door which can be opened, just as simply as that. But it might give some problem if you want to open the door in a car park or in a confined space. Now, the trunk is actually quite huge. You can actually push this thing up. And it's huge! And you can actually push the, the seats down forward so you can put like a, a small bicycle, a bicycle, a motorcycle even if you can fit it inside there, I doubt it. The car has a 15997cc engine using the Arteco 16 valve engine. Now the Arteco engine is actually a pride of China. It's based on aluminum alloy which should, it should be giving superior performance. It's also using multiple injection fuel system. It should give enough power, it should give enough torque, but at 147 Nm of torque at 4650 RPM, you may be revving it a bit hard to get the right power. And fuel consumption wise, it's a little bit on the high side. Um, it's nothing to be proud of, but if you are smooth on the pedal, it should be great. As you can see here, the interior of the engine, the engine bay is actually very, very well neatly put. Everything here is clean, it's not cluttered. Now the Tigo can comfortably sit five adults, five huge adults in the car. We have tried it before. With enough space to be comfortable, with enough space to just dig around and actually two of our passengers actually switch between themselves in their sitting position just because they get the aircon right. Now you can see from the back seat here, it's actually quite ample space for huge people, maybe like someone. Let's talk a bit of the interior of the car. Everything here is actually very simply laid out. The radio system is a four speaker hi-fi system which can support one CD, no CD changer, FM AM radio of course, and a USB. Using the cable to plug in your USB. The aircon system is actually quite nice, it's quite cold. The aircon vent is easily laid out. The meter cluster is simple. I can safely say that everything about the car is simple and of course no GPS to speak of. For the 2.0 litre variant, which is the more expensive one, you will get uh, you will get SRS airbags for the driver and the passenger. But for the 1.6 one, the one we are driving now, it doesn't come with airbags. Engine is... There are power, but... When climbing uphill with full load capacity, it does struggle to go uphill a bit, but you may have to downshift a few gears to do it. Now, the, the real beauty of this car is actually the suspension setup. The suspension setup is actually engineered by Lotus Help in building the suspension. McPherson strut in the front, multi-link in the rear. Now, the suspension feels great. It's smooth. If you are crazy enough to try it on the corners, you can do it. Going through bumps, going through holes, going through potholes, it's great. It's really, really smooth driving. Passengers of mine fell asleep in the car many, many times. Now, no multifunction steering to speak of. Fine. But we are all a bit disappointed with the plastic finishing. It makes the car look maybe a little cheap. You don't, you don't hear rattling anywhere in, in the car. The air insulation is actually quite quite nice as well. For a 1.6 k 
car, the Tigo handles beautifully. Price at 79,000, or to be precise, 78,888 on the road with insurance. The CBA model is actually very fantastic. I'm Shawal Ahmad for Cars, Bats and Trucks, signing off.